Here is a an interesting little play toy that I got at a an estate sale. It is an an, an antique, almost antique. I mean, it's fifty years old. Um, analytical balance, a very very sensitive scale. Back in the seventies, these were the cream of the crop. I mean, they're, they're they were the most sensitive scales that you could get. Um, this particular model will measure from 160 grams, which is um, about wait, maybe close to a third of a pound, I guess, and go down to measure 100 micrograms, 100 millionths, millionths of a gram. A gram is a very small amount, and to measure 100 millionths of that gram, Wow. All right, let's look at the inside of this thing. Okay, the balance mechanism is made up of this beam, and it is pivoted right here. Let's see if I can get that in the camera right. Okay, it's pivoted right here, and it can sway back and forth. Um, this particular part right here is connected through a, a rod down to the pan. So when this goes up and down here, when, when the weight changes on this particular part right here, then this beam will move up and down. And if we look carefully over here, we can see we have a little scale over here. And that's in a light beam. There, there's the... the um, the light itself comes through here, goes onto this mirror, and through this lens mechanism, and then it's projected onto this scale. So when this moves up and down, here, I got it. <laughs> Hard to tell. Okay, see if I move that? See how sensitive that is when it moves? It takes just 100 micrograms to move that one division on that scale. Okay, and that is where, that, that then is reflected over here, hits another mirror, goes down through the inside here, hits a mirror that's down in the base here, and that projects it this way, and it comes up and gets onto this scale here. This is the scale. Now if you look inside here, it's out of focus. Let me go ahead and adjust it. I see there's something to do with the camera. The camera has a certain spot that has its maximum sensitivity right here. See, if I move over a little bit, we don't see it. So for some reason, the sensitive area of the uh, camera is right at this point. Okay, now, if I, if I get that in the sensitive area, okay, I'll go ahead and adjust the focus. Okay, that gets it positioned, and now the focus. Okay, there we are. There. Okay, that's about as good a focus as we're going to get. Okay, so we can see down in there, um, we can see the numbers on the scale. Now, I will go ahead and use the zeroing. Okay, now we're right on zero. Now if I get over here to this one, we can see we've got some little lines inside there. See, and I can set that line exactly in the middle. So the scale is now perfectly zeroed. We have, have zeroed to within uh, less than 100 micrograms of, of being perfectly balanced. I, I don't understand why <laughs> Isn't that the craziest thing? Why the camera only has sensitivity in that one little area? Huh. See, everywhere else it looks good. It, you know, see, it, it has even sensitivity all the way across. We don't see any change in sensitivity, but if we go down here and we look at that scale, 
There's definitely only one spot there where it has real sensitivity. Ah, okay, so what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and we're going to put a piece of paper. What I have here now, <laughs> here are the test subjects. Okay, that's a bunch of fleas. This was very painstaking for me to, to get these off of the cat. Uh, it took me several days to do it. The cat doesn't have very many fleas on her, so I had to just sit there and each day I'd um, uh, go ahead and look at her and see if she had any fleas, and I'd, I'd go ahead and get them off of her and kill them and then put them in this, this little cup here so, so I could save them. Because we can't weigh one flea. One flea is going to be less than 100 micrograms, but we hopefully will be able to measure the number of fleas that I have in here. I haven't counted them yet. There's probably around 20 of them in there. Um, we may not even be able to measure that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of paper. I have a piece of um, weighing paper here. This is very thin paper because we, we don't want to just put the fleas straight on the pan because we'll have a hard time getting them off again. Alright, so I'm going to take this paper. Okay, we look here and we see we're absolutely zeroed, okay? I'm going to set this piece of paper on the scale. Okay, it changed. And now we're sitting at, okay, let's see, I would, I'm going to go ahead and measure it. We're going to set that to zero. Okay. Okay, see that is now, is that right? Oh my god, oops. See, what I'm doing here, I made a mistake. What I'm doing is I'm laying my hand on the table, and that's causing the table to tilt slightly, and that shifts the uh, reading. I have to remember, keep my hand up off the table while I adjust the, uh, the, uh, the uh, microgram knob. Okay, we'll get back on it. I was wondering why that thing was changing around and I wasn't turning the knob. Okay, we're at... Okay, we're at 9. You can see we're at 9. And then we have to bring that, that bottom line right up even with the uh, marker. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it. Okay. So we're at 943 milligrams. Okay. That's what the piece of paper weighs. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take the fleas and I'm going to um, dump them onto the scale. Okay, we look very carefully at our, our scale and we're perfectly balanced at 43. Get 943. Okay, this, the fleas are just sitting in here and I'm going to go ahead and dump them now onto the scale, onto the piece of paper. All right, that's all of them. Okay, now let's see what happened. All right, if we look at our scale, let's see we've gone up. We're, we're no longer balanced. We're still at, at the 9, but clearly we're away from 9. Okay, so 943, and I'm going to go ahead and bring it back to 0. Okay, I've got to write these numbers down so I don't get forget them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead... <coughs> Okay. Okay, null equals 943 is our starting number. All right. Now, I'm going to very carefully Oop, wrong way. Here we go. Okay. Maybe one more. Okay, that is balanced. 81. Okay, so we're at 981. Okay. Okay, that's um, 8 and 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 
Okay, so 38, we're getting 38 difference. Okay, so All right, so we're seeing 3.8 milligrams. We have 3.8 milligrams worth of fleas sitting on the uh, paper right now. All right, so the next thing we got to do is we have to count the number of fleas that we have. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do. If I don't sneeze, I don't want to sneeze now and all the fleas will go running away. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, get that one out of there, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We got 20 of them exactly. Okay, we've got 20 fleas. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the fleas in case we have to do something else with them. Whoop, whoop, careful, careful. Back in here. One is stuck. Okay. Okay. A fleas are back in the uh, little cup here. I'm going to get this out of the way so I don't sneeze and lose them. Okay. And they're all dead, so they're not going to bite anybody. I, I don't have a lot of fleas in the house. I mean, the cat can run around in the house, and I, I don't see any um, fleas. Okay. So we're going to take and we're going to we're going to divide three point eight by 20. All right, so we get uh, 1, okay, 20, and we got 8, and <clears throat> okay, that'd be 9. Okay, so each flea weighs 0.19 milligram. No, wait, 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 wait. No, it, it, it weighs, this is micrograms. It's, we, we don't want to lose track of where we are. See, this is, this is milligrams here. This is 100 micrograms here. Okay, so that's 190 micrograms. Per flea. Wow, we've measured we measured how much a flea weighs. 190 micrograms. That's the average weight of those fleas on that uh, in that in that container. <laughs> this is this is so crazy. I, I wish I had a place that I could keep this thing. It, it's it's going to go in the dumpster. Um, the scale's going to go in the dumpster. There, there's no way to ship it. I have no way to ship it, so I can't put it on eBay and sell it to somebody. I would give it to somebody if they wanted to just pick it up. But um, you know, the, the chances of finding anybody that would want something like this, uh, it, it's impossible. I mean, it's just, you know, who's going to want something like this? Right now, you can go on eBay and you can buy the equivalent of this for... Uh, about a hundred dollars. There, I mean, there's some some Chinese ones that will measure tenths of a uh, milligram for um, about a hundred dollars, and of course a, a decent one. This one here cost many thousands of dollars back in the 70s. It it was outrageously expensive, but um, uh, this one is in um, pretty bad shape. It it's uh, definitely uh, a home experimenter's uh, fun thing to play with only. But uh, I hate to throw it away. I mean, it's a beautiful piece of history. Um, there, 
They're on eBay right now for, for a, a large amount of money. I mean, there, there's a whole bunch of them on eBay, this particular uh, type of scale. And um, they don't realize that, see, all of this stuff in here, it's just balanced. There's a piece of, um, there's a piece of uh, quartz in there, that, or a piece of sapphire, actually. It's a little sapphire bar. And the balance is a point that is pushed down on that sapphire bar. And that provides the, the extremely small amount of friction that it can have so, to where it will change with the weight of a flea, literally. So, um, you see down inside here, you see those rings? Those rings mechanically are lifted and set onto the balance in order to change the, the scale. It's just like if you took a, a plain old uh, balance that uses separate weights and you have a pan on one side where you put the, put the weights and um, on the other side you put your sample. And this is, works exactly the same way. Uh, it, it's, it, it's ridiculously complicated mechanically. And when you change this, you can see those rings in there going up and down as I change the uh, sensitivity, adding the weights to go ahead and um, cancel out whatever's on the, uh, on the tray. Um, it, you know, and you can't ship it because the whole thing, you know, the whole thing is off right now. See, this thing fell off. It's not sitting on the, um, it's, it's, it's just, it, it's jammed. It, it's, it's not sitting on the, the little uh, uh, piece of, uh, so I have to pick that up and get it back on there. I can't do it with one hand, but that has to be very carefully picked up and that, that knife edge has to be set right in the middle of that sapphire uh, bar so that it balances perfectly. And, you know, how are you going to sell, send something like that? Okay, if the person got it, you know, I know how this thing works, but do they? Is somebody on eBay buying the thing going to know how this thing works to where they're going to be able to go in there and, you know, do what I'm doing on it? You know, it took me hours of an analyzing the darn thing to figure out how the thing worked and how to get the thing back together. Because when I got it, it the whole thing was just completely jammed. Uh, none of it worked at all. And uh, all the optics were completely misaligned. Um, I had to sit there and analyze all of it and figure out how it worked and then adjust everything. There is, is no manual for it. You, you cannot go online and find a manual for it. Uh, Toledo, who, who, who makes these things, uh, said this thing is so old that they don't even have record of the manual in their computer system. This was before they had computers, so the manuals never got scanned or anything like that. So even getting a a, a, a copy of the manual for this thing uh, is, is impossible. And then, of course, if you got the manual, then you'd have to sit there and learn all that stuff and figure out how to do it. All right, well, that's it. Um, we figured out how to weigh the weight of a flea using a semi-antique uh, scale, or balance, uh, analytical balance. And um, this poor old scale is going in the dumpster um, uh, next week when the uh, garbage truck comes. It'll haul it off to the landfill and that's the end of a, uh, a really uh, interesting piece of history. I hate to get rid of it like that but uh, I don't have room to, to, to store it. I need the space and um, I certainly don't have any use for it. I mean what am I going to do? Sit here and weigh fleas? Alright, that's it.